Lesson 24, 24th lesson, the simple past tense. In lesson 23 you have other examples of the past tense of regular verbs, e.g. happened, caused, surprised, seemed, dried, verb to dry, worried, verb to worry. In all these the pronunciation of ed is d, sounded, pointed. Pronunciation of ed here is id. There are also some irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are verbs that do not form their past tense by adding d, ed or t. Hob uses the past tense of three of them. I went to the wedding of my friend. He saw Helen on the other side of the wall. Tom said, what is the matter? The other irregular verbs in that lesson are eat, drink, draw, understand, put, find, tell, get, give. Present tense, past tense, go, went, see, saw, say, said, eat, ate, give, gave, find, found, drink, drank, draw, drew, understand, understood, put, put, get, got, tell, told. The simple past tense, interrogative, to form the simple past tense interrogative of all verbs except to be, can, and one or two others, we use the past tense of do, i.e. did, with the infinitive of the verb, e.g. Affirmative, Hob ate a good dinner. Interrogative, did Hob eat a good dinner? Affirmative. Interrogative. Shakespeare liked London. Did Shakespeare like London? Lucille stayed at a quiet place. Did Lucille stay at a quiet place? Tom danced with Helen. Did Tom dance with Helen? He walked to the station. Did he walk to the station? Hob went to the wedding. Did Hob go to the wedding? Tom saw Helen in the garden. Did Tom see Helen in the garden? The artist drew the picture. Did the artist draw the picture? They understood the picture. Did they understand the picture? She put her arms round his neck. Did she put her arms round his neck? Hob ate a good dinner. Did Hob eat a good dinner? He drank the wine. Did he drink the wine? The answers to these questions are, yes, he did, or, yes, they did, or, yes, she did, etc. The simple past tense, negative, to form the simple past tense, negative of all verbs except to be, to have can, etc., we use the verb did with not and the infinitive of the verb, e.g. Affirmative, negative, Pedro liked London, Frida did not like London, Jan stayed at the Devon Hotel, Lucille did not stay at the Devon Hotel. Tom danced with Helen. Hob did not dance with Helen. He walked to the station. I did not walk to the station. Hob went to the wedding. Jan did not go to the wedding. Tom saw Helen in the garden. We did not see Helen in the garden. The artist drew the picture. I did not draw the picture. They understood the picture. They did not understand the picture. She put her arms round Tom's neck. She did not put her arms round Hob's neck. Affirmative. She went to London. Negative. She did not go to London. In conversation we often shorten did not to didn't, e.g. Hob ate good dinner. Tom didn't eat a good dinner. He drank the wine. He didn't drink the wine. The negative answer to questions in the past tense is, no, he didn't, no, they didn't, etc. Used to. Note the idiom used to on page 177. He used to look at her over the garden wall. We use this for a repeated action in the past, generally with the idea that the action is finished now, e.g. I used to go to the class every day. But I don't now. He used to have dinner at that hotel. But he doesn't now. She used to speak English badly. But she doesn't now. 
pronunciation drill, revision. In these revision exercises, you are given some words that may cause difficulty. In this and in all revision drill, after you have practiced the pronunciation, use each of the words in a sentence, air, answer, any, many, bread, head, meant, breakfast, meal, pleasant, real, ready, aunt, by, character, comfortable, enough, eight, light, I. Exercises. Exercise 1. Turn the following into the simple past tense. 1. This seems quite easy. 2. He never dries his hands carefully on the towel. 3. My cat likes fish. 4. That sounds funny. 5. The students go to the class every weekday. 6. I often see aeroplanes being over my house. 7. I can see the aeroplane in the sky. 8. The students are in Mr. Priestley's study. 9. We understand the story quite well. 10. The children eat too many ices. 11. This artist draws very good pictures. 12. Lucille never drinks tea in the morning. 13. It is not often that Hob goes to a wedding. 14. That is what Hob says. Exercise 2. Make three sentences, each with the idiom, used to. Exercise 3. Write the following in the past tense. Helen points to the tree, and Tom looks up there. He sees Helen's cat high up in the tree. It can't get down and is looking as unhappy as Helen is. Tom goes over the garden wall and climbs up the tree and carries the cat down safely. Helen is so pleased to get her cat again that she puts her arms round Tom's neck and gives him a kiss. This pleases Tom very much. This is certainly what he likes. He wants the cat to climb up the tree every day. So that night he waits until it is dark and then he climbs the tree. He carries a hammer and nails and a fish in his hand. He knows that cats like fish so he nails the fish to the tree. If the cat goes up the tree the next day, he hopes to get another kiss. Exercise 4. Make these sentences interrogative. 1. This work seemed easy. 2. He dried his hands carefully. 3. The cat liked fish. 4. That sounded funny. 5. The students went to the class yesterday. 6. He saw the aeroplanes flying over London. 7. He could see the aeroplane in the sky. 8. The students were in Mr. Priestley's study. 9. They understood the story very well. 10. The children ate too many ices. 11. This artist drew a picture of the story. 12. Hob drank tea for breakfast. 13. Hob went to the wedding. 14. The cause ate all the cabbages. 15. The boys saw the sunrise this morning. 16. The girls put their books on my desk. 17. The cat went up the tree. 18. Tom saw the cat near the top of the tree. 19. Helen put her arms round Tom's neck and kissed him. 20. Hobbs said that. Exercise 5. Make all the sentences in exercise 4 negative. Exercise 6. Answer these questions a, affirmatively. B. Negatively. 1. Did he write the letter? 2. Did he draw the picture? 3. Did the ladies drink cups of tea? 4. Did the girls put their books in the desk? 5. Did the cat go up the tree? 6. Did the boys see the sun rise? 7. Did they understand the story? 8. Did you understand the story? 9. Could you understand the story? 10. Did the children eat ices? 11. Were the students in the study? 12. Did the cows eat all the cabbages? 13. Did you see my brother last week? 14. Did you go to the theater on Friday? Exercise 7. Turn each of the following into the simple present tense 1. 
He wrote a letter. 2. The artist drew a picture. 3. The ladies drank cups of tea. 4. The cat went up the tree. 5. We understood the story. 6. The boy, the ice cream. 7. I saw your brother in the field. 8. Henry went to London every day. 9. The boy put his books on the table. 10. The men put their books on the table. 11. They wrote letters from South America. 12. She wrote letters from South America. 13. They went to the theater every week. 14. He went to the theater every week. 15. We all understood this lesson. Thank you very much for the likes, and subscribe to our channel.